I don't really believe in luck. I think luck is what happens when opportunity and preparation collide. That being said, I've been very lucky. Uh, I, I think a lot of it is being in the right place at the right time. I was in the right place at 2017 when the home inspector licensing provision took effect. Uh, it cut a lot of unlicensed inspectors out of the market and our business crippled on July 1st. Uh, because you know we were in the right place at the right time and and opportunity and preparation met hello richmond real producers your publisher Kristen brindley and i'm here with the wonderful brad gamlin thank you so much for being with us thanks for having me Absolutely. You're a preferred partner and, you know, you're fantastic at what you do. Advanced home inspection. If y'all haven't checked it out, make sure that you do. Um, this right here is the, I love it how it disappears. There's Kristen Wood just by herself. Um, <laughs> it is the March edition and Brad is in there. If you haven't checked out Brad's story, thank you for all you do. There we go. So Brad, you know, advanced home inspection, like you, you've been in the industry for about 40 years, you know, on the construction side, you've done affordable housing on a super high level. Um, how long have you had your inspection business? And did you always think that you'd be inspection? How'd the, and, and like, did you always think you'd be running an inspection company? Like, not at, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> I wanted to be a rock star, you know, and I played in bands and, uh, worked in street performer for a while and i always thought i would be in something having to do with performing um so but that didn't work out obviously <laughs> uh, just kind of because i've had been in the construction business my whole life uh i had go out and say hey i have this investor would you be willing to walk through this property with us and tell me anything that jumps out at you and yeah sure and it just kind of started organically she's that's probably about 15 years ago um uh, then, then the market decided to do what the market did, and I uh, went and got a got a real job, working for the city for a while, and then um, dealt with a couple inspection items uh, on the the sales side because I was building houses and selling them for the city, and um, realized that I I could I think I could do that, you know, without at the expense of sounding cocky, I thought I could do it a little better. Um, and just improved the whole experience. So I started doing it full time. Uh, I worked with my father up in Northern Virginia for about a year, kind of learning some ins and outs of the uh, inspection business, and then started my own company here in 2016. So, you know, good, I... good for you. Well, and you found you found a need, and then you know you created a value based business. I that's the best. That's the best. best well. Part is a lot easier on my back and hands <laughs> oh what? oh good all right go ahead and and re re say what you what you said so we we could go for about an hour going through all of my construction related injuries it's a lot easier on my back and hands this side of the table that makes a lot of sense um what so building your company you have several inspectors um you work with a lot of top agents that's how i was re referred to work with you like um what does that company look like now and what do you think um the next you know couple of years looks like what's the what's the plan um company now looks well looks good um uh, i have sit there's six of us and everybody is is about at the level of busy that they want to stay at uh, i'm really big on work life balance so um I, I like my guys being able to take off whenever they want to take off and go travel or spend time with their kids or, or whatever, because, uh, you know, I don't, I, I think it's very important to have a good work-life balance. I think it makes you a better employee if you're happy, um, makes you a better inspector. And, um, so I'm, I'm very happy where we are now. I, I have the best group of people you can imagine. Um, I would be nothing if it weren't for the, the people that we have on our team. Um, as far as the future goes, uh, I, I'm kind of a fly by the seat of my pants sort of person. Um, I'm not really one to make long-term goals. Um, 
I always joke that I'm really good at creating things, but not very good at maintaining them um, because I get excited about things. I want to do something new. And uh, so my, my goal right now is to make sure that my side of things remains constant and that I do my part, my job. And uh, I look at it as that I have you know, six families to feed, including my own. So uh, I take that responsibility very seriously and um, you continue to grow the brand, continue to grow our reputation um, and just making sure that my people are happy and, and my people being our inspectors and our clients, um, which, you know, I've always, when, when I used to play football, I had a guy tell me, that the secret to success was identifying your weakness and making it your strength. And I know my weakness is maintaining things. So I'm currently trying to make that my strength, if that makes sense. Uh, for you, I, I love this because I, I'm, I'm going to ask you about your family and so on too, because you do a great job with work-life balance and you, you go after your passions, like running a football league and things like that. Um, but like, what is the uh, biggest differentiator? Like what um, makes you and um, advanced home inspections different? Like what's, what's different about y'all? I think the, the, the biggest thing is that we all have construction business experience. Uh, I don't really think that you can accurately do this job unless you've been on the other side of the table for a significant period of time and to understand how people cut corners when they're renovating houses because you've cut those corners and, you know, seeing mistakes because you've made those mistakes. Um, I think that's, that's more valuable than any class you could take or, uh, you know, other sort of training that you could have on the job as an inspector. It's very important to have that construction. And our team, we have a number of different, um, backgrounds you know I, I was a general contractor in historic restoration for a number of years we have one that was um did uh sign installation and uh fine woodworking we have one that was uh commercial utilities we have one that was a fire marshal so you know it's it's just it's that i try to bring people together that have different special specialties um and you know cross train each other and everything that we know and I don't like having set teams. You know, we always are always bouncing back and forth with who we do work with so that we can keep a consistent product and we can learn from each other as much as humanly possible. And then that's a our, great philosophy. Yeah. You know, I think what sets us off, sets us apart from everybody else more than anything else is that we, we don't take this too seriously. I mean, we take it very seriously from a responsibility standpoint, but none of us have a savior complex. We're not coming into the house to, uh, create a problem and so that we can be the heroes in solving it. Uh, I don't want that type of inspector on my team. I want inspectors to be contrite about any problems that they find because, you know, we don't want to kill a deal, but at the same time, we want to represent our customers properly and um, do a thorough job, but we don't want to scare anybody either. Uh, I think that's the biggest difference between us and other people is that we're not alarmist. Um, and we try to temper ourselves to not be. I love it. Um, well, and I, I think that's really important. Like, so how do you um, find uh, clients? Like, how is your company set up? Like, is it a lot by referral? Like, is it like, what is what does it look like for you? Mostly by referral. Um, we have a number of realtors that we have great relationships with. And um you know, I, I constantly try to talk to them and get feedback and make sure that we're going in the right direction as to where they want to go. And, and we're pointing out the things that we need to point out and not pointing out the things we don't need to point out and um, making sure that we we keep the ship sailing in the right direction, so to speak. Um, we've tried advertising a little bit directly to customers, and it's, it's helped a little bit with some uh, we offer like a home inspection, not inspection, but uh, maintenance walkthrough with existing home buyers we can go through your house and just point out little things that they need to be more mindful of in terms of maintenance things that they might not have identified themselves um you know make them up a little cheat sheet of when to do this when to do that show them where their uh filters are and all of those sorts of things so we've done a few of those um outside the realm of real estate transactions and i think that's a pivot that we're trying to do in the in this climate of waiving home inspections um 
which, you know, I'm not a big fan of, obviously. <laughs> so well, obviously, well, and, you know, when people don't have an inspection before, um, you know, they, they buy, it's smart to have one afterward, I would think too. Right. Um, yeah. I've, I've seen a lot of, a lot of that in this marketplace too. Um, a lot of inspections after, after the fact as well. Um, which is also smart if you're not doing it beforehand. Um, what about, uh, I mean, you're a, a successful guy and people are always wondering like, how do I, you know, have a business, be successful, have, you know, six people on cruise. What has been, um, do you think the guiding factor for success for you? Like, is it hard work? Is it like, what is it, what is it for you? Why do you think you're successful? I don't really believe in luck. I think luck is what happens when opportunity and preparation collide. That being said, <laughs> what? That being said, I've been very lucky. Uh, <laughs> I, I think a lot of it is being in the right place at the right time, um, with the right skill set. Uh, I was in the right place at the right time when twenty in twenty seventeen when the licensing requirement hit, and um, that you know cut the home inspector. Uh, uh, <laughs> I was in the right place in 2019 when uh, 27. Damn it! Okay. I was in the right place in 2017 when the home inspector licensing provision took effect. Uh, it cut a lot of unlicensed inspectors out of the market, and our business crippled on July 1st. Uh, because you know we were in the right place at the right time, and and opportunity and preparation met. Um, you know, I don't like to take credit for any of the success we've had because I think it's it's more m the people that we have, and you know, dumb luck. And I know that I say that I don't believe in luck, but <laughs> which is contradictory. But you know. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know if I could really point out one specific thing. It might be charisma, it might be hard work, it might be um sense of humor, it might be the people we have, but in all likelihood it's probably a combination of all of those things. Uh, you know, my say that I could sell an ice cube to an Eskimo, uh, which you know is not all that PC anymore, but um <laughs> I like how you always make me laugh every time I talk to you, like every time. Um, Everything. Um, okay. well, what, so um, I wanted to ask you, you know, about family, you're, you're big on, you know, work-life balance. You do a lot of really great things. Like tell us a little about your football league. You just got married, you know, your kids, you just went on a trip. Like tell us a little bit about that stuff. <laughs> um. I grew up very, I guess, for lack of a better word, I grew up pretty poor in a trailer in Spotsylvania. And um, I always looked at the world and, and globes and maps and was fascinated with how other people lived. And, and I wanted to put myself in their shoes and see, you know, what is a day-to-day -day experience like for somebody who lives in, you know, Nigeria or Morocco or these places, you know, off the beaten path. Those are the places that I like to explore. And, and now that I've gotten a little bit older and have a little bit more um, ability to do so, I like to go and explore and, and meet people. And I think it um, it's always been a dream of mine to just kind of see the world and meet people. And um, I love traveling. I love traveling with my kids and um, we've been to a number of different countries and I have this huge list of Facebook friends of people in different countries that we've met. And, and it's just, been, it's just fantastic. Um, I am recently uh, married. I was married uh, March 3rd. So, you know, a little over two months ago, uh, we went on a nice trip to Polynesia and explored Tahiti and, and uh, Wahine and met a whole bunch of fantastic people and uh, tried to get a Polynesian tattoo at the time, but I couldn't find anybody reputable that didn't have a, you know, a three month wait list. So, um, good times. <laughs> so now we're a blended family. We have four teenage boys. Um, and, uh, you know, this is why I have no hair because I've pulled it all out in frustration. 
a um, lot of food, a lot of everything. That's a lot of <laughs> go through six gallons of milk a week. Lord. That's Costco or Sam. Like that's a yeah. <laughs> Bessie. Oh, you what? We have a cow in the backyard, Bessie. No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it. Love of God. Um I I could see that. Um, we've thought about, we, we eat a lot of eggs. We've thought about chickens. Like, um, well, I seriously, it's, it's a pleasure to have you like at our events. And, um, I'm so glad that we had realtors refer you and you're part of real producers. Y'all haven't, you know, checked out and worked with Brad over at advanced home inspection. Make sure you do, um, link below has, as info and, uh, you know, thank you, Brad. My pleasure. Thank you, guys. Um, I really appreciate how you guys have been uh, instrumental in pulling a lot of people together that wouldn't normally interact. Um, I love your events because it it's it allows it allows you to interact with people at at a more social sort of environment, so it can get rid of some of the barriers to communication that we tend to have in a uh, uh, professional environment. I like that because I don't have a lot of those filters. So. <laughs> this is just how I am on a normal day-to-day -day basis. And this is about as professional as I get. So <laughs> well, we we love it. You're you're fantastic. And you know, thank you. My yeah. pleasure. Bye. Thank you, Brad. <laughs>